What's up, everybody? We're gone park. I'm at the uh, at a metro park today, and I have a million spots I could start in today. Um, beach is down there, but all this used to be beach. It opened in the late 1930s, but um, I think I might head down here. Start out in the picnic area somewhere over that way. They used to have a baseball diamond and a track and field type thing that's no longer there, but start anywhere over here in these picnic areas. Well, I don't know. I've got about four or five hours here. It's nice. I figure I'd come up here on a hot day, maybe. Since the land is close to the water, maybe there'd be a little bit of moisture in the ground. It won't be so hard to dig. But let's see how we do. The only bad thing is uh, the wind is high here. I just got to this little area right here. All these trees. Might start poking around here for a little bit and then uh, might move out back towards the back a little bit. All right, first target. place is so loaded I literally get a signal every couple of inches so I just chose this tree to kind of hang around with for a while so I'm gonna be digging up a lot of junk but got a high tone here Could be a quarter. Right on top of the roof. And corn. Quite a quarter. Look at this little guy. Got a squirrel <laughs> coming right up to me. He's probably used to being fed. Sorry, buddy, I ain't got nothing for you. I usually carry dog treats in my backpack in case dogs run up on me. What are you doing, bud? I'm sorry, I don't got nothing for you. You want something? Look at him. <laughs> Let's see if he'll come up to the camera. Come on. All right. <laughs> well, it's nice out here anyways. I'm having a hard time <laughs> getting through the trash. There is so much trash here. So I'm kind of moving around looking for a cleaner spot. Okay, let's continue. Let's give you a quick example of uh, how it is here. A lot of jumpy tones. Yeah, so you can see uh, that's with 100% sensitivity. If I would have known this place was going to be like this, I would have brought the, the Explorer and just blocked all that out. But, well, I hope I can get something. You got a clean 90s signal here. So all I can do is just swing through this minefield and Hope I catch a clean signal. Okay, 
right quarter, second one. Pull tab. Ah, we got a hot wheel. <laughs> okay, I thought it would have been cancel or something, but there you go, better than nothing. There's one that I've been waiting come through. Brown's hard. And we had a clay quarter. It is probably ain't gonna be much of a video as far as fines go. This place is so vast that it's it's hard to pick a spot to, t to detect, you know, pretty much surrounded by water, kind of on an island right now, and, um, yeah, so, but Simplex is pretty erratic here, there's just a lot of surface trash, but trying to, trying to dig some targets that are popping through, like that one. Some of these trees got to be a hundred years old, so you know there's a few. It's got to be old coins in here. It's a matter of putting your coil over it, I guess. Yeah, we got a coin here. We got Memorial, 1976. by this massive tree. I believe the baseball diamond was out there. It's got a 64 Jefferson right here. Just decided to take my time around this tree and dig a lot of these signals. In between the hundreds of pull tabs and bottle caps, just got this old number 12 Western Expert shotgun head stamp. All modern coins so far, too. Between all the pull tabs and getting those rusty bottle caps. And this one ring up kind of like that, but it looks like I got a belt buckle. I think that's what it is. Looks like there's a little design on it. I have to take it home, clean it up, and see if that's exactly what it is. But put it in a good pocket just in case. Something. Oh boy, I'm exhausted. 
could go poke around by that volleyball thing. But most of the ground here is really hard. The last time I was here would have been 1987, 88. Me and my girlfriend wandered out here. It was either by that tree <laughs> or that one over there. One of them trees we wandered out here at night. If you know what I mean. Okay, well, I might poke around by this volleyball net since my hands are so blistered up from using this uh, hand digger. Yeah, but maybe I'll get lucky and find a cheap ring here. Maybe not as lucky as I did back in 88 by that tree though. And you got a Jefferson nickel here. And you got a high tone here. Finally well, got that sucker. I must have been moving it around quite a quarter. Jesus. There's something I didn't expect in the volleyball court. Another shotgun head stamp. And, uh, I don't like to quit without getting one good find, but it's got some clad today. But one thing I think might be a belt buckle, but I'm exhausted. So, but all this area. Even the part I'm standing on used to be the original beach. The beach is just um, isolated to that one little square over there. But, um, I mean, you could find anything out here. It's just, like I said, the area is so vast that it's a matter of getting your coil over the right spot. But it was nice out here anyways. I might come back. We'll bring the simplex next time. I'll bring maybe the Explorer or the Impact or something. And I'm gonna get out of here. I don't even know what time it is. Somebody might be able to figure out where I'm at if they can see that building way down there, past the lake. I'll zoom into it so you can see it. Give up my location here. Just tons of bottle caps and pull tabs. And just handfuls of them. Tough to dig. I mean, I found a few spots that were soft, but got a huge blister right here on my hand. Guess if you get me a predator shovel for places like this, especially in the summertime. Springtime, it's always soft around here, but summertime, everything dries up and gets hard. Yep. Okay, quick wrap up. Pennies, nickels, two dimes, seven clad quarters, a hot wheel, the two shotgun head stamps, and uh, 
I guess I can say that's the best find. I guess that's what I'll have to settle for. I'm trying to see what the hell. It is definitely a belt buckle. Can't really make out what that is. Maybe if any of you guys know what that is, leave a comment. I thought it might be Boy Scouts, but I don't know if that looks like a rabbit or a running something on it. Puma. Who knows? But pretty sure that is an old belt buckle. But anyways, I might go back there. I might go back another time. See if I can get lucky. Put my coil over the right spot for a silver coin would have been nice today, but no old coins at all, not even a weedy. But anyways, it was not uh, it was nice out there at least. And at least I enjoyed myself. But anyways, thanks for watching. See you next time.